what are the main symptoms associated with alpha-gal syndrome and how would I know to get tested? So the main symptoms associated with AGS depend on the person, actually. It can be anything from itching and hives to flushing or shortness of breath. Sometimes people will have changes in their blood pressure. So in an allergic reaction, often the blood pressure decreases significantly and people may feel lightheaded. Um, they may pass out even. Um, some folks have cough and wheeze. Uh, but interestingly, we found that there's a group of folks who just get gastrointestinal distress. So they may have uh, really crampy abdominal pain, diarrhea, nausea, even vomiting. The way to know to get tested, um, which is the other part of the question, and that can be a little trickier. The first rule of thumb I say is that if your symptoms are occurring at nighttime in particular, that seems to be um, a, a, a timing that really points to AGS. Because often in the States in particular, we eat dinner as sort of our main heavy meal. And people will occasionally put um, red meat in that meal. And they, then they have symptoms much later. So middle of the night, uh, abdominal cramping that, that often can wake people out of sleep, but equally hives in the middle of the night would be, um, I think, a signal um, to get tested. The other part of that is for people that live kind of an outdoor lifestyle or maybe uh, live more rurally or in the country, if they have a history of tick bites and you combine that with these um, symptoms that could occur after eating beef or pork or lamb or venison, um, then that also tends to be a signal. So it's, a, it's several factors, but I think the most, most predictive one is if someone gets symptoms, it may not even be every time after eating beef, pork, or lamb, but if it, if it happens more times than not um, associated with those meals, then we tend to think those are folks who should get tested.